Hello children, how are you? Hope you all are fine. Have you enjoyed your summer vacation? Yes, you might have enjoyed it. I too had a better summer this time. I visited many places in Telangana with my family. When I visited many places in Telangana, I felt home is the best place for me. Have you ever felt like that? Yes, home is the happiest place in the world for everyone. Children, in this summer, some of you might have gone to your grandparents' town or village. Some of you might have gone to your uncle's or aunt's village or you might have gone to some touring or visiting places. Children, you too have your families, don't you? Yes. So, home is the happiest place that we have discussed in earlier lesson that is our face sheet. Now, children, let us think about some children, those who do not have families. Have you ever seen such kind of children? Have you ever met them? Who do not have their parents to look after them? So, we call such kind of children orphans. Though they do not have anyone to take care of them, but the society itself give them a hand to help them. For instance, orphanages. Orphanages are the places where orphans taken care of their needs. Now, we are going to learn something about a boy whose name is Oliver Twist. He is an orphan. In this lesson, we could find that how Oliver became an orphan, how he was sent to an orphanage and how he was finally thrown out of the orphanage. Before entering into that lesson, let us observe objectives of this session. Objectives. Children, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to read the text with proper pronunciation. You will be able to comprehend the text contextually. You will be able to understand the gist of the passage. You will be able to understand the theme of the story, Oliver asks for more. You will be able to understand the layout of diary. Children, before watching the video clip about Oliver Twist, let us watch a small video clip of glossary that may help you to understand the text better. Ladle, a very big spoon with a long handle and a deep cup shaped pot used especially for serving soup. Ocum, loose fiber obtained by untwisting old rope. Orphans, children whose parents were dead. Orphanage, a home for children whose parents were dead are unable to care for them. Parish, an area cared for by one priest and which has its own church or in England, the smallest unit of local government. Stammer, to speak or say something with unusual pauses are repeated sounds either because of speech problems or because of fear and anxiety. Waistcoat A piece of clothing that covers the upper body but not the arms and usually has buttons down the front worn over a shirt. Weep To cry tears 
workhouse a building where very poor people in britain used to work in the past in exchange for food and shelter beadle a ceremonial officer of a church college or similar institution gruel a cheap simple food made especially in the past by boiling oats with water or milk children till now you have watched the glossary video with that you might have understood some new words and their meanings now children let us watch another video clip about the author of this lesson he is none other than charles dickens charles dickens is an english writer social critic and a well known english novelist he was born on 7th of february 1812 and was demised on 9th of june 1870 due to his father's imprisonment charles left to the school and worked in a shoe factory while he was working as an office boy he launched his writing career He created some of the world's best known fictional characters and is regarded by many as the greatest novelist of the Victorian era. His works enjoyed unprecedented popularity during his lifetime and by the 20th century critics and scholars had recognized him as a literary genius his novels and short stories enjoy lasting popularity some of his works are oliver twist a christmas carol pickwick papers bleak house a tale of two cities david copperfield and many more They brought him name all over the world. He went on lecture tours to America and got literary reputation. He focused on social issues and human ailments in his works. Children, till now you have watched the video clip about the glossary and about the author that is Charles Dickens. Now you are eager to know about something oliver twist are you ready here we go
too late, Doctor. Yes, you're right, Miss Thorny. I wonder where she's in the street, sir. Her shoes was worn to pieces. I see the old story. Another mouth for the orphanage. Until he's old enough for the orphanage, I'll be father and mother to him. Gentlemen, what's your name, boy? Oliver Twist. What? Who gave you that name? I did, sir. You see, I named my orphans according to a little invention of my own. So the given names according to the month, the surnames according to the alphabetical order in which they arrive. If it's in July, it's James or John and so on. Now this lad here come in October. O for October, O for Oliver. He was the 20th that come that year. The 20th letter of the alphabet is T. T for twist. O for Oliver, T for twist. I calls him Oliver Twist. Simple, ain't it? Of course, I've lots of trouble with the hexes and the zeds. We understand, ain't. Mr. Bumble. You know you're an orphan, don't you? The boy's a fool. I knew he was. You know that you have no father and mother, don't you? That you were brought up by the parish. What are you crying for? I hope you say your prayers every night and pray for the people who take care of you and feed you. You come here to be educated and to learn a useful trade. And so tomorrow morning, you begin by scrubbing the floor of the workhouse dining room. And after that? Take 
for what we are about to receive. Lord, make us truly thankful. Amen. Pardon, sir, but Oliver Twist has asked for more. What? Am I to understand that after he had eaten the generous supper, the law allows, he asks for more? Bumble, lock him up. Yes, sir. You come with me. The boy's unincorrigible, sir. Can't you arrange to apprentice him to someone? I will. That boy will be hanged. I know he'll be hanged. children till now you have watched the video clip on oliver twist you might have understood the pathetic situation of the boy oliver twist and how he became an orphan how he was sent to orphanage and finally how he was thrown out from the orphanages now children for the rest of the period sit together and read the text in your textbook from unit 2 reading A that is Oliver asks for more. After reading the text sit in groups and answer these questions. Who was Oliver? What happened to his mother? Who asked for more gruel? Why do you think he asked for more? Why was he sent out from orphanage? Is it really wrong to ask for more? Why? Children, after answering these questions, now I will assign you some task that is discourse. Children, Till now you might have learned something about Oliver Twist and his pathetic situation. You felt something sad for him. Now imagine that you felt sorry for Oliver's pity situation. Now write a diary entry of your feelings or attitude towards Oliver. Children, till now you have watched the video clips of Glossary and about the author and finally about the pathetic situation of uh, Oliver Twist. Have you enjoyed this lesson? Thank you.